Beautiful weather outside here up in Montreal, so I'm going to make it brief today because I want to go enjoy the beautiful outdoors. No, I'm not in this tropical location. I wish I was, not just yet. We'll get there to streaming live from amazing locations around the world. But for the moment, I am in my office and loving the crypto market, loving the stock market, loving the volatility and opportunities that are provided. Let me save this, let me share this link. And, ooh la la, no, that's not what I wanted. They changed the how to share over here and share. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we are going to check out Disney today and Chipotle. Chipotle looks like it might be setting up for an amazing short. Disney had an awesome short. If you guys are in, oops, the Java pit, you know, I called that out this morning. Also did a presentation on ISO 2022 in our crypto tunities room. So come and check it all out. In fact, I'm going to pull up uh, the website where you can see how to access all of this stuff. So on Thursdays, I have been also talking since about 8.30 this morning. I'm tired of talking. Um, and so we will be brief, quick, I'm hungry, and I want to get outside. It's a beautiful day, so I want to enjoy it. Whoop. So here we are. This is thedarkpools.com. If you want to check out the Crypto Tunities Room, then you can come right here. It is $9. Hello, Terry. Yes, you're the first. Welcome, welcome. It is $10 for the Crypto Tunities Room. We talk about centralized coins, decentralized coins, what is crypto, all that good stuff. You can educate yourself and it will not break the bank. Um, and you can see the awesome information about ISO 2022. Now, something, Zinfin, right? Let's look at crypto today. I'm gonna to start off there because it is rocking. So we saw that Zinfin today broke out. Look at this amazing run that we had on Zinfin today, up to 13 cents. We were up 30% today at one point and it pulled back look at where it pulled back to the moving averages on that four hour chart try it you will like it and you will see hey i should have taken some profit up here i was too busy talking about zinfin to lock in some profits up there but longer term i feel like this does have a bigger move to it to the upside when we go to zinfin's website here is what's super cool we're talking about ISO 2022. It is centralized banking to be done around the world. Yesterday I talked about Ripple, how Ripple is one of the tools. Guess what? First generation Bitcoin, second generation Ethereum, third generation Zinfin. It can go down to 0.000001 USD and up for the fees, two seconds to send and it is trackable. Energy consumption, very, very little. But here is the best part. Keep going. It's ISO 2022 compatible messaging for private and hybrid state. All right, let's look into it even further. We are going to be saying bye-bye to that SWIFT system, right? Here we have the model, centralized A, decentralized and distributed. So there will be different uh, crypto ledgers as well, and ISO 2022 includes Zinfin, right? So looking at that, or maybe I'm saying it incorrectly, Shinfin, maybe. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but I call it Zinfin. Um, XDC, Terry, I like XDC, and look, it's still super affordable, 10 cents, right? This is one to be used around the world. Not a bad one, right? We have XRP. Let's go to the XRP website. Ripple, whoopsies, ISO 2022. And we go right here. And part of the new banking system. Ripple is now part of the ISO 2022 standards body, the first member to distribute, to be focused on distributed ledger technology. We have it there. We have it on Zinfin. Let's see, maybe, do we have it on Stellar? Stellar ISO 2022. Let's check and see. 
Ripple, Zinfin, ISO, Cross Border, Instant Payments, Stellar or Ripple. I'm looking to see where it has the two together. Both Ripple and Stellar are much more Ripple. I want Stellar, baby. Where is it? Hosted by. I know this was hosted by the hacking um, conference by the IMF. Uh, among them will be the head of Stellar, Danell Dixon the Federal Reserve jo Jerome Powell and the head of the Bank of International Settlements. So you can see that they have been talking. Um, and here we go. This one is one that's out all over. ISO 2022, Ripple, XLM Stellar. Let's see, Swift Payment System Nth Exception. I love these flowcharts to show how it actually does all come together. All right, IBM. I believe that Stellar and IBM have partnered together. Uh, let's go here. Swift, GP, current international payment system. Let's check this out and see if it's nth exception. Swift, GPI, XRP, IBM, and Stellar. Stand by while it loads. Okay, the Telegraph was not a competitor to the telephone system. Similarly, created in 1974, Swift has been around since 1974. So we are talking about goodness, we are getting rid of 37 years of technology. This is not going to happen overnight, but we they are going to adopt these new platforms for forms of payment. I'm looking for Stellar in particular. Let's go here. F, Control F, S, T, E. Ah, there we go. It's just in the headlines. IBM Stellar, Stellar. Uh, oops. How many times? Let's go down, down. There we go. Ripple is a services provider and XRP is the technology, just like IBM is a service provider and Stellar is the technology. So looks like Stellar and IBM are working together, which coincides with, you want to earn money right now, how to do that? Uh, well, you, you have to learn. There's no quick, get rich quick schemes there, Rahant, you have to do some education, um, no matter what it is, right? So here is one. Here we have Stellar right there. Ripple, IOTA, Stellar, Zinfin, Algorand, ISO 2022 ecosystem, right? Here's cross-border payments, another one from payments.ca. So payments.ca is part of the SWIFT system in Canada, and we can see how it all happens, the Fed wire, there's Fed now, which is the Fed payment system. Let's see if there's anything else we have that might have Zinfin on here and Stellar. So we're looking at them. You have to learn, and it's not as simple as just do this and you're gonna make money. It, you, you learn to read chart patterns and you will slowly learn. It's not turn on the light switch and you start printing money into your bank account. You gotta learn first. I know people want to want instantaneous results. Let's see. Swift completes blockchain proof concept for Nostro. Nostro reconciliation. I'm looking to see if we see anything here. It's just all the banks and how they're interlinked. All right. So coming back to it, the top coins that I am looking at for part of the ISO 2022. Also add on Doge token here. Um, those are going to be great ones. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome, welcome. So yesterday, Doge Token was in beast mode. Let's see where it is today. Let's go to coinmarketcap.com. And we search it up here. D-O-G-E-T. Doge Token. So this one you would have to buy on Lobster, L-O-B-S-T-R, or Stellar Wallet or something. Um, if you go to their website, dogetoken.com, it will show you where. And personally got into this down at 0 0.049 cents. So over here, entered into this over here. And now look at this, up 300% and it's still two US pennies. This has been set up to go to two decimal places. So thinking that this will definitely be used as a form of payments. There are 10 billion in the world. Right now we have 
excuse me, less than 10 billion, 9.9996782008 or 208. And that's the max supply. Yeah, Rahan, you have time to learn and study for sure. Um, it will take time though. You got to study and, and learn how to read the charts. There's lots, you can see things like this. Here was the high. When it breaks up from the high, look at what happens. It tends to continue to moving up. So look for that sort of pattern. You're sending my old electronics guru, BF Bear here to this channel. He wants to come up to speed on crypto and buy-in. He's in upstate New York. You know what, old salt trading? It's going to be hard for him to buy because he's in the state of New York. The state of New York does not make it easy to buy. Um, I think their laws are very, very restrictive for the state of New York. Yeah, so he might have a really hard time with that. Sorry to burst that bubble, but he might have to figure out another way to make that happen. Oops, that's not the one that I wanted. So let's go to my list really quickly. Like I said, going to zip through everything today. We are still in a bit of a downward trend up here, right there. So would look to see, hey, as long as we are not really popping up above 417.60 for a close, I would be looking for the SPY to correct on down. Q's bouncing today. However, we are still in the downward motion, right? We have this trend line right here, and we have a bit of a more extreme one, which we definitely bounce from that more extreme one. But look at this. This is a megaphone to the downside. That is not pretty, right? We could see that this goes up, and then we have a big drop down. So be prepared, guys. I'm telling you, be prepared. Um, we saw that the Russell dropped below this megaphone. We have our little, looks like a like a fish this way now, a, kiss, a fish with lips over here. Um, this looks like it might close below. If we close below over here, it's interesting. It's a four hour chart and it's still awesome that if we close below this trend line, look at that, we pulled down, bounced. This would be a lower risk short entry right here as we reject this trend line. How many times did we bounce off of it? That's going to make this more influential. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the seventh test. And if this breaks, the more times that this has held as support, the bigger the move to the downside. There's a leading indicator built from someone in the States. It is very, it is in my opinion that it's the best in the world, very easy to use, so accurate. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Um, are you talking about Bollinger Bands? Are you talking about volume weighted average price? And you know, anchored, I'm not sure which one RFC, there's so many out there. Easiest thing is just to follow the price action, read the chart and look at the volume at the bottom. Put it together. Are we above big volume? Are we below big volume? That's it. Dow Jones is bouncing today for more new all-time highs from this breakout right here. We had another box over here. So if I take this, I pull this up here and adjust it. We have this consolidation box. We broke out yesterday and yeah, Alexander, I have a link that is, um, if you go to my channel, there is a playlist all about how to learn all about trading. What's a stock? All that good stuff. All right. VXX is starting to gain some steam today. Maybe some more people are buying puts. We had this big volume right here. I would look, set a note, set information, or set an alert, excuse me, for breaking out above 39.60. I would keep that on watch. Oh, look, we're right there right now. <laughs> and sure enough, we're breaking out from that right now. So that is this high of this candle, of this body with super high volume. The next high is up here with 42.39. Do I have an alert already there? If not, let's set one. Crossing up, 42.39. All right, we have another one set up there. If we start going above that, 42.39, stock market is going to crash in my opinion. Just get ready, take some profits, and, and be prepared to be a bear. 
It's not a thing to be fearful about. You can make money both ways in the market. And it's normal for a market to have a crash. If you go back and look over history, it seems like it's roughly every 12 years that we see a sizable drop in the market. And coming to think of it, yeah, yeah, Alexander, there's one. I can put it, you know what? Once the video is done, put a comment and I'll shoot you the link so that you can have it right there. Um, Actually, maybe I can grab it right now. Hold on. Let's see. Let's go back. Bear with me two seconds, everybody. Everybody. Hold on. Hold on. Here it is. Let's see if I can share this easily. Hopefully it doesn't start playing. Here we go. And look at that. Think outside the box. Right there. There you go. That's the beginner's playlist to learn how to trade right there. Um, did you miss my opinion on Doge Token? Uh, Mark, my opinion on Doge Token is it's going to be part of the Stellar Network. It is part of the Stellar Network. You can purchase it on Lobster, L-O-B-S-T-R, and you have to use XLM to purchase it, which is Stellar, the Stellar Token. And it's set up with a finite amount, so potential growth is greater than Dogecoin, in my opinion. Um, and it's still at two cents. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. Uh, I mean, well, WD Gann put it out there way back in the early 1900s, old salt trading, that it was going to crash. Market Cipher. Okay, sounds good. I'll check it out, RFC good with what I'm doing right now. So thank you. I will check it out then. All right. So let's check out the majors. Let's look at Amazon rebounding today, right? Pulled back. Oh, but we are still hitting the moving averages. Let's turn on these. That's not the one I wanted, this one. So we do have a bit more to move up, but I did mention watching that 3250 level, right? We bounced off of that today, 3247. We could see that we bounce up and then we roll back over and we come down here to the 3098 level. Uh, Facebook is also having another bounce today. To me, today feels like it is a dead cat bounce day for a continuation move to the downside. Oh, Mark McCrary, well, I'm more of a longer term crypto investor. Um, with my Dogecoin, what I like to do personally with my Dogecoin, I bought it down at six cents. It went to 67 cents. I took out my initial investment. So the cost of the initial coins I sold. So everything that's left is just profit, right? And I'm just taking out my initial investment. And then I put it into another coin, ride it up, same thing, take it out and then, all right, RFC, thank you. Um, we're not gonna have a sales pitch here, thank you though. So Apple as well is bouncing. Uh, the stream started 18 minutes ago, Fernando. So this is pulling back, hitting the moving averages. We are bouncing off of the volume weighted anchor price from this former high right here, bounced off of the 20 simple moving average. Looking to see if we have our volume dropping. Are we going to continue to the upside or is this going to be a roll over dead cat bounce? We did break above the 50 simple moving average here. We are above the 20 and above the 50. Microsoft as well, pulling back down. So these are the two majors. It's no wonder that we're starting to see a bit of bounce in the indexes because Apple and Microsoft are the top two in both the SPY and the Qs, right? And then we have these that were on my short list today, Myrna, which had earnings bounced up. So it pulled back, offered a short opportunity and now a long opportunity as the market is doing the same thing. Market dropped and then it's squeezing people. Rocket as well had a little bit of a short opportunity right here. That's lower float. Pfizer, oh my goodness, the world's a top vaccine company had dividends today, a bit of a bounce, but it looks like we might be rolling down. And PSLV, so Sprout Physical Silver is moving to the upside. I really love this chart, big momentum potential. 
we are above the volume weighted anchor price. As long as we close above 970 today, I like this to the upside. This has some great movement potential to it. It is inexpensive right now, in my opinion. And this you can redeem for physical silver should you want to. SLV is redeemable for silver for banks, not for individuals. This is a different instrument. Gold as well is also moving to the upside. Nice squeeze on gold. Barrett Gold, let's also check out GLD. I gave a target out for 177 over there on that. Uh, and it looks like we might be moving well on up there. We have an inverted head and shoulders right here. Could be seeing that we hit on up to 177 on GLD. Nicola today, I know we have uh, Nicholas, I believe. Hello, you two, welcome, welcome. So looking for this to hold above 1040 today. Shot up pre-market and then pulled back down. And now, let's see, Viacom was another one on watch today. Hold on two seconds. Hey, I'm on my live stream. What's up? Hey, real quick. Uh, good news. Uh, the, it just happens, so happens that the Maggard hair guy is at the shop here today. I didn't even know the dealership has a contractor that comes to fix his mag. Okay. So he's going to fix our mag. You saw it, but they said it's awesome. Fine, so okay. 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 okay, sounds good. Take Bye. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Had a little issue pop up earlier this morning. Problem solved. So, Viacom, nice short. This has had big, big volume. Also, another one that had really crazy volume in the dark pools recently. You betcha, Twitter. So Twitter pulled back. I'm not sure whether it was institutional selling. No, I don't know, Jean Grey, you too. But I have heard I look like Amy Adams. I look like Nicole Kidman. I've heard some other ones too. Oh, the one from This Is 40, what's her name? Here, I'll pull up the picture. You guys tell me. It's your fault, you, you brought me off topic, you two. This girl, what's her name? This Is 40, and her name is, oh, I, I, I. Oops, I misspelled it. Leslie Mann. What do you guys think? Do I look like Leslie Mann? Here we go. Any similarity? Jean Grey? Okay. You guys totally took me off topic. Can you tell my caps are on? Jean Grey actor. Her? I look like her? Is that Jean Grey? Do I look like her? <laughs> okay. We're having fun now. All right. Back to stocks. <laughs> Thanks. It's all trading. I bet you I'm older. All right. So Twitter. Yes. Massive dark pools. Right? Over here. Right? Actually, right here. We're below them. So, we're also hitting the 21 EMA on the 45 minute chart right now. Volume is dropping. Looks like this, okay, wait, we're going back over here. No, we're not gonna go there. Um, so this looks like it could continue down further, maybe all the way back down to 46. We will see. Facebook is bouncing. How about Google today? Is Google bouncing? Oh, did you guys know that Jeff Bezos sold a whole bunch in Amazon? Uh, I was doing uh, teaching today and we were talking about it and I said, hey, you know, Jeff Bezos usually sells about every six months or every three months quarterly. Haven't seen his sales lately. Boom. Well, he sold two days ago. I happened to check it this weekend and it wasn't there. So he's selling again. Oh, thank you, Asif. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys like the live stream, please hit like, subscribe, turn on those notifications. If you want to contribute, I have a buy me a coffee link down below. Because as a mom of two, all the research I do, I need some coffee. So Google is, they're all looking fairly similar. He's using it for his rocket, maybe. What, what is he using for his rocket? Google? Oh, 
Bezos, gotcha, gotcha. So Viacom also pulling back a bit more today. Looked like it might have wanted to continue to the upside after the massive sell-off, but more dark pools, guys. Watch Viacom. Also, ASO had a nice bounce up. This is lower float. I'm bummed because I was in down at 18 and I sold when it came up to 28. I was like, oh, I'm happy. Well, now I see it went that next leg up. I could have had even more profits. It's okay. I still have happily locked my profits. And we had a nice trade up above 34.60. I need a case of espresso. Yeah, I love Nespresso. How about Nespresso? That's Nestle, right? N-E-S-N. Looks like Nespresso. <laughs> Nespresso. Nestle. I'm tired today. I need to get outside and get some fresh air. Go for a walk. We have a bit of a wedge right here. Which way are we going to go? Break down below 108. Boom. We're going to fill the gap down here 107, 106. If we go below 106, on down to 104. And let's look at Disney. Disney today called this out um, in the Java pit. And you can see it had a really nice short today down from breaking down below 181.40, a nice move down to 179.80. Oh, you know what? I cheat. Old salt trading. I just push the button. In the news, SEC to vigorously lean in on social media manipulation, retail traders, but not dark pools or synthetic shares on the OTC or trillions in leverage by institutions. Is that what just happened in the closed door meeting? Because they are having the closed door meeting today, right? Let's go Sunshine Act. SEC closed door meeting. This is the one from before that was canceled. Upcoming events right here. Oh, look at that. Did you guys know it was canceled? Interesting to see that that was canceled today. Closed meeting canceled. Date change notice to what day? May 3rd, previously announced May 6th. Okay, closed door meeting for May 2nd. Uh, that was at 2 p.m. Has been changed to May 7th at 1 p.m. So it's happening tomorrow. Hmm, interesting. Last day of the week. Options are expiring. Anything new? Let's go really quickly to Jeremy. Oops, Jeremy Hogan and XRP. Let's see if we have anything new there. Right here, let's see if he has put anything up new on Twitter. Oh yeah. So SEC just needs more help because Ripple is fighting back hard or it could mean that someone decided that there needs to be a new lead counsel. I guess the older Chicago attorney will be the new lead as you don't need a 25 year lawyer just to help out. So the SEC is bringing in two lawyers from Chicago to assist with the case that have 18 and 25 years of experience. <laughs> yeah, they weren't done with their positions. Maybe that's true, old salt trading. That is true. Sometimes we would see that, you know, before Trump had his announcements, all of a sudden we'd see all these prints coming through in the dark pool. And then, you know, Trump comes out 30 minutes later, ding, once he's done, once everybody's done with their positions, boom, then the moves happen, right? So right now it looks like they're just bringing in more attorneys for the SEC. Seems like they're kind of shaking in their boots if they need to pull in more attorneys on this case. If it was such a clear cut case, why would there be new XRP attorneys coming on board? Doesn't make sense, right? Yeah, and you know, they also canceled the moratorium for the CDC mortgage moratorium and rent moratorium. They canceled that too. Interesting, that happened yesterday. New lawyer is a settlement lawyer. Maybe, that, that could be the case, I love spring. For sure, that could definitely be the case. Uh, right now, it doesn't seem like they are having much traction because they are calling in more, more assistance, right? 
when Bezos sells and buys. Yeah, well, no, Bezos tends to sell on average every uh, three to six months around the court, around the earnings. It's a pre-scheduled sale. I have noticed that. Um, but there was also big stuff on Microsoft. I mean, we honestly, with the indexes, seeing heavy, heavy dark pool activity. So I would just be prepared for maybe dark activity coming out. Uh, you know, like maybe there's gonna be a black swan event and something could happen. We are at the top, right? We're testing, are we setting up a head and shoulders? Do you guys see that right here? Are we setting up a head and shoulders with a neckline right here? So we're at the top here, it goes down eight points. So if we break, we'll call it 412, minus eight down to 404, right there. Look for this, this or this area right here. Oh, we stepped down months before the pandemic and sold stock and then came back and bought again. Uh, maybe. No, no, I, I think he just, he's selling. Could have been part of his divorce settlement too. Also, uh, you know, with Bill and Melinda Gates, no prenup. So she's rocking in it because of no prenup, right? 27 years ago. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for today. I am tired. I am hungry. It is a beautiful day outside. So I'm going to wrap it up. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for contributing. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out at the social media handles right here, or you can shoot me an email at jane at cjanetrade.com. Carpe profit, seize those profits, one trade at a time. See you tomorrow.